It's your boy, Mr. Suisa here with another episode of West Coast Gems, uh, the series where I look at West Coast settlements in the 1800s that you might want to move to. So today we are looking at an absolute banger of a settlement known as 8th grade Smellsville uh, for all you farmers out there looking for a brand new place to call home. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Uh, uh, um, wait, hold on a second. All right, cut. All right, so like I was saying, uh, welcome to 8th grade Smellsville, a beautiful city uh, located out here in the Willamette Valley. Uh, oh, not... A beautiful city located out here in the Willamette Valley. Again. Willamette Valley. Uh, as you can see, has a population of 18 people right now. But that's about to change as soon as you guys see how amazing this town is. Look at that. That is a beautiful farming village. Comes equipped with a very, very nice railroad system. Pardon, excuse me. Uh... Oh, a little stuttering there, but that's okay. That's just part of the video. Don't worry about it. Uh, part of the charm of this rural area. So as you can see, it has a very nice railroad system. Totally built, perfectly fine. No extra track needed here. Uh, it's uh, beautiful. Got a little lava flowing in case you need that in your life. Uh, and uh, yeah, here we... Uh, all right, so here we are. Uh, first things first, we have a beautiful little ticket office uh, and train station here, a great place to store your goods and easy travel in and out of town. Coming over here, we have the communal barn, also known as Thomason Barn. Thank you. Uh, we have a communal threshing room, as you can see, uh, nicely lit and has some amazing space to uh, take all of your wheat and turn it into a finished product. Over here, we have the Corvin Bros horse breeding uh, facilities. As you can see, they're uh, pretty successful there. Some beautiful horses to build out your farm when you get here. All right, we have a state-of-the-art post office. As you can see right in here, uh, our commemorative compass stamp for you. This is uh, Jeb. Huh? He's working hard. Uh, although not our employee of the month, but uh, keep it up, Jeb. Oh, don't leave me alone. Don't, don't come too close. All right. Uh, and here we have Mima's General Store. Just had a fantastic sale. I bought at least a thousand things from here. Uh, a little bit sparse at the moment, but a wonderful store. Come on in and uh, they'll definitely have some new stuff for you guys by the time you get here. Now, no burgeoning town would have uh, would be working without a nice, beautiful bank here. Look at the security on this thing, folks. Bam. Click in. Cool guy working here. I'm going to head into the... Totally head into the vault. Bam. Secure. That is where you're going to want to put all of your stuff. Uh, valuables, diamond, gold. That one thing you stole from your friends. And look at these lab coat looking dudes. They will keep it nice and safe for you. Now, if you're getting a little bit hungry, Singer's Hungarian Butcher Shop, they got you covered. Look at this. We got chicken. We got beef. We got pork. We got mutton. Uh, and for those of you that are uh, financially challenged, not YouTubers like me, uh, we got the mystery meat, which is uh, something. All right, and here our price is pretty reasonable. Mystery meat, only 50 cents. So you know you got to try some. Uh, check out my other video up here uh, where I totally uh, try out the mystery meat and don't die. Crazy, I know, I don't die. All right, so we're getting into the downtown area here. I'm going to run a little bit, speed it up. And we get to the first one, a place that I like to call home, Suiza Residence right in here. Got my little table, kitchen, you know, I like to cook. Some bookshelves, uh, currently not reading anything, but uh, we'll get to it eventually. Uh, and you can see some of the modern architecture of 8th grader Smellville. Um, we got a nice single bedroom here for my daughter, a little bit more spacious double bedroom. Um, and you guys can model your houses after this. I don't mind. It's pretty dang beautiful. Moving over here to my barn, I have some award-winning animals. 
We have Twinkle Toes, the second fastest horse on earth. We've got Starburst and Philippe P -P 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 -Pay. Uh Definitely some amazing horses. You should totally get some. We've got my two donkeys, Sims and Orm. Uh, no relation to anyone you might know. And then the best horse in the entire world, Shmamanda, built half this town on her back. Um, anyway, <clears throat> moving right along, you can see we have a communal tool shed. Great place to come and grab tools for when you're building. We've got you stocked and ready to go. If we run into some issues with uh, some unruly people, we do have a state-of-the-art sheriff's office complete with dual jail cells. Uh, this is where the justice happens, folks. Nobody gets out alive unless they deserve to be alive and then they get a reasonable punishment. I don't know where I'm going with that one. But anyway, here is 8th grade Smellsville uh, Park. Uh, beautiful well, if I do, so, do say so myself. Although I will say there are no vehicles allowed. I'm sure that law will never come back to haunt us in any way, shape, or form. Uh, everyone understands what a vehicle is. They get it. So over here we have the Field Hand Saloon, a nice place for you to come in and relax. I'm not entirely sure what's happening there, um, but a nice place for you to come, have a drink with your friends at the end of the day. As soon as you're done uh, work, you can come in, in and relax. My man does stay. Uh, morning. We have <clears throat> Jurgensen Rope Makers in here, a beautiful town uh, building here, beautiful carpets, uh, really reasonably priced lassos. Um, get all of your rope making needs. I think that's Mr. Jurgensen himself. Good morning. Oh, oh. Uh, where was I? Uh, okay. Anyway, moving right along. We've got uh, Thomason's house over here. Beautiful little cottage. Again, you could totally model your houses off of these beautiful things and their barn behind. Uh, definitely not way too big for the town. I don't know what you guys are talking about. So over here, we have some other amenities. We have the dance hall. Uh, great place to bring your family and friends after a long day of work. There's some music that gets played. A great place to hang out. We have some traders. Not sure what they're doing over there. Going to ignore that. We've got Barlow's Leather Shop and Tannery. As you can see, a nice place to get some beautiful clothes, reasonable prices. Again, the things that you would want when you're moving out here. Place for your family, place for your friends, and a place to get all the things that you want from the East Coast. Steel and Smith, black shop here. Ooh, ah, for your blacksmithing needs. And then we move to the second part of town off of this road over here. Now, you might be saying, why would I want to move out west? Right? They don't have all the creature comforts of the East Coast. But wait, look what we got. We got a barber shop. Inside, we got the Mr. Sham Selden cut and the Mr. Suisa cut. Look at that. Basic trims, regular haircut, shave. They can pull a tooth if you need. And my personal favorite, the specialty trims. You got nose hair, back hair, and for me, the beard trim. You know you want to, to use these things. You know they're going to come in handy. See, these are the kinds of things that you don't get back on the East Coast. That's why you want to move out here. Right here, we have the tailor shop. If you're looking for some more expensive and fine clothes, right? Maybe you're looking for something for a nice night out. Tailor shop's a place to get it. We have uh, Fartel's Pharmacy. No relation to any other building you might think of. With a beautiful brewing stand. They've got tons of books. They can get you hooked up with whatever medical things you need. Keep you nice and healthy and moving along. Right next to them, we have the doctor's office, uh, the Sham Selden Bros. Here we go. As you can see, we have a nice little exam room, eye chart, uh, get you ready, up and running, in case you get a little hurt. Oh, you cute little horsey. Uh, in case you get a little bit hurt working on the field, we got you covered. Uh, this is the outhouse. Nothing good happens in here, but uh, it's needed, so it's there. And then you have the Sham Selden residence over here, uh, a beautiful two-story house, nice open architecture on the bottom. And again, guys, this is what we're offering, right? A beautiful house, beautiful home, places to work, places to raise your family, and a chance to do better in life, to do better, make more money, live a happier life. And my favorite part of this, look at this beautiful balcony, 
You can sit up here at night looking at the stars, take in the surroundings, take a peek over at the very normally sized barn. Um, it's a beautiful house, and we're hoping that you'll come and join us out here and build some of these things for yourself. So second to last, we have the Shamselden barn, beautifully built as always. Uh, is lacking a few animals at the moment. He's just got a llama, but you know, uh, when you're busy building a town, sometimes you run out of time for some other things. Uh, and this, this is the piece de resistance, the best part, the pool and spa. You're not going to find this on the East Coast. Check this out. You... Uh, anyway. Uh, as I was saying, please come and join us out here. It's a beautiful place to live. No one almost drowns and dies. That's, that's a myth. Uh, so anyway, uh, come on out here. Thank you for joining me on another episode of uh, Beautiful Places on the West Coast that you should totally visit if you were living in the 1850s and could move out here if you're a farmer. Uh, my name is uh, D. Sweezy, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye.